Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I don't even know what I'm going to call this video. We'll just say catching up on my reading for the weekend. My birthday was yesterday, Friday, uh, Saturday. <laughs> Thursday, June 8th. Today is Friday, June 9th. And I am unboxing what my dad got me. Any Anytime my dad gets me something that my mom doesn't know of, meaning he's not just co-signing it or putting his name on it, it's going to be something electronic. Or it, this isn't, I mean, electronic, but it's something electronic, if you know what I mean. Um, so he got me LED ring light kit. He works at a music store, so who knows how much this was. I'm sure there was some kind of discount, which we love. But anyway, I'm unboxing this. This is empty. So I have not been in the mood to read. I actually had a video already planned for June. Like I started filming it June 1st and I just deleted everything. I scrapped it because I wasn't into it anymore. And I don't think I'm going to make that kind of video ever again. It was um, my TBR jar. Just doing that in a video. I'm not interested in um, making a video for that. So I hope y'all aren't either. But maybe I'll find a way to include those books in other videos. But it just won't be its own video. I had two books picked out. I read one. Just, But anyway. So <laughs> that brings me to this video. And I am going to be catching up on my reading because guess what it is day nine of june and i've only completed one book mind you i don't care about the number of books that i read in a month i don't give a rat's booty about that however one book in nine days is highly suspicious and i know you're probably like girl you said you read every day i do with the exception of the last two days of the month and we have another exception yesterday being I did not read at all. Um, but I have been reading every day. I haven't been finishing anything. So I would like to try and get through lots of different books this weekend. I also told myself that I would like to do some kind of 24 hour readathon. Like, or not even 24 hours, but I told myself that I would like to do some kind of readathon where I time my reading once a month and I already did my 24 hour readathon oh technically I already did that for June because that was posted yesterday so this might not be posted until like well I did say this probably won't be posted until July so this would be like a readathon for July so I would like to time using the stopwatch so I'm going to turn it on whenever I start reading Instead of like counting down, so like starting with 24 hours and counting, we're not doing that. I'm just going to start the stopwatch whenever I start reading. Now, I already know I average about four hours for a book, like a regular novel about four hours. If it's like a novella, probably three. I'll say two and a half to three. But let me tell you what I'm planning on reading. So the first book that I want to finish is With a Vengeance. Seriously, truck. Um, I want to finish with a vengeance. I literally have this much left. I think I have less than 80 pages. I'm on 216, so I probably have like 60 pages left. So I would like to finish that. Why did I take this out? I would like to finish that now, like right when I stop, right when I am done fixing this stuff. And then why is, why is this heavy duty? I guess this is the real deal. Hopefully the lighting of this is better than the one that, because I have a ring light, but it was from like Ross or actually I think mine was from TJ Maxx. No, yes, that's TJ Maxx. Let's see what the lighting looks like. Oh, well that sucks. I need a thingamabob. Okay, let me go get a um, the little party thingy. Okay, let's see what this light is looking like. Let's see. Oh, wow. I don't really like this kind of light. 
I think I look better in like a yellowish tint. Like this. Yeah, I prefer this light better. But anyway. So, um, this is the first one that I want to finish. Look at the lighting now. I mean, come on. What the hell? What the hell? Oh, wow, this is better. <laughs> so, this is the first one that I want to finish. The next one that I'm going to be working on is my ARC. Which is A Turn in the Air by A.H. Cunningham. This comes out the week of June 26th, I think she said. So this is what this looks like. Love the cover. This is the second book in a series, but it's a standalone series. The next book that I just don't know if I'm going to get to. This is the other book for that video that I was talking about, the TBR jar. It's, it doesn't have the dust jacket. I took that off. I don't read with that on. It's Falling by TJ Newman. Yes. Falling by TJ Newman. I am on page 104. Well, technically 105. Chapter 13. I just don't know if I want to finish this. Not like a DNF. Like a soft DNF. I don't think a hard DNF. I just, I also got it off of Libby. So it's on my Kindle because I transferred it or whatever, sent it to my Kindle. So I feel like I want to finish it on there, but I don't know if I want to read it. So this might be like one of the last books that I might get to, or I'm going to read little bits and pieces, you know, throughout the weekend and hopefully finish it by Sunday. I did also get Fourth Wing or The Fourth Wing. I don't know if it has the by, I don't even know who it's by. Look at my hair. I don't even know who it's by. I don't remember her name. I also got that off of Libby. I waited probably about three weeks, two weeks and a half, two and a half weeks and a half. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to also get to that. I just don't know if I'm going to get to it like after this. This is going to take me a minute because I think I still have quite a bit. But that's enough talking for this intro. I'm going to probably put all this stuff back up. And I'm going to go heat me some fries. That's going to be my snack. And we're going to try and finish with a vengeance. So check back in. I, oh, I have finally finished my second book of the month which was with a vengeance so i don't remember when i started recording that intro that was probably like one o'clock it is now 8 23. i had not started it until like eight something so i did put my timer on my stopwatch whatever and i screenshot how long i don't think i screenshot it but it's right here I paused how long it took me to finish um, so it took me 36 minutes thir 37 36 minutes 36 minutes 37 seconds and 27 milliseconds whatever that is I don't I think I left off on page 240 oh Actually, I was a little pat, a little before two. I'll say I was probably on like page 230. And the book is 264 pages. I'm going to reset it so that the next book that I do, I'll put the stopwatch on for that and see how long it takes me. And then at the end, when I'm editing, I'll add it all up and see how long I read for. I'm going to just do it that way. I'm not going to get into the plot or anything because that's not what this is. I'm probably going to give this a three star. The spice I would give a four. The plot itself I would probably give a two. I didn't like the plot. I Not that I didn't like I didn't understand it. I think it wasn't until like page 230, 240, like when I picked it back up, I was like, okay, I think we're finally getting somewhere with it. But I didn't, and it's a short book, and you're probably like, how are you going to give it a three star? And look at all my tabs. Let's see, focus. This is all my tabs. So I tabbed quite a bit. Again, it wasn't bad. But I think overall, I'd probably give it a three. So I finally read the second, my second book of the month. Next, I'm going to take a bath. And I'm going to get into... I don't know where my Kindle is. I'm going to get into 
a turn in the air i can never remember the name of it the one by age cunningham i probably won't finish that tonight either because i probably have a good three hours left or probably a little more but i'm gonna try and get as far into that as i can i'm gonna put my stopwatch back on but yeah we're gonna get into that after i take a bath and we all know after i take a bath i just i don't read that much but i did take a little nap today so we'll see how much i can get into uh -huh. i don't know how to fix this because it i feel like this is always crooked now but i don't know what i did to it good news bad news i finished i don't know how to fix it good news bad news i finished good news i finished turn in the air a turn in the air bad news i was timing it then i woke up this morning today sunday i read a little bit i put the timer on this i started the stopwatch and then i listened to mass on tv okay and then i went to start the timer again the stopwatch zero zero seconds i don't know what happened but I lost all the time. So <laughs> I had to restart it as I was reading it. So I read about 52 minutes, um, 12, 12 seconds, 56 milliseconds. I don't know what that is. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this to the last known time that I remember. And I re the only one I remember seeing was two hours and 30 minutes. Mind you, I think it ended up getting to about two hours 40, but the last thing I remember is 2 hours 30. So I'm just going to add that to it. Um, which also kind of makes sense because I think when I got back into this, I had about 4 hours and 15 minutes left, if I remember correctly. So that should kind of equal around what I should have read. Um, because even though I may have had 4 hours and 15 minutes, it probably took me less time to read that. I think I'm going to give it a 4.75. So, <laughs> bad news other bad news it's sunday i started this video on friday i didn't check in at all yesterday i did read but i never checked in i don't think this is gonna have any kind of reading clips because i'm always doing long videos <laughs> i mean at least 30 minutes you know i have one that's coming out that's gonna be 48 minutes so i don't know if this one's gonna have any reading clips but i think i'm gonna continue this video I mean, well into the week. Maybe I might film until Friday or something. Because um, I do like this idea. And I've been reading, you know, more lately. So I think I want to continue this after, you know, today. On to the next book. Change of Plans. I think I was going to read Fourth Wing next. However, yesterday, I got surprised with the art copy or with the arc of Asia Monique's new upcoming book which I don't even think I knew she had a book coming out, but it comes out tomorrow, Monday, June 12th. And it's called, And the Life Was, And Then Life Was Beautiful. So I'm gonna go ahead and read that next. I would love to finish it today because when I get arcs of things, I prefer to read it before it comes out because if I don't finish this before it comes out, I guarantee you, let's say I read half today, I guarantee I'm going to delete the copy I have and get the other copy off of Kindle Unlimited. Because I'm sure it's going to be on KU. But um, I'm going to try and read as much, as much, as much as, as I can of the art that I have. Which I'm sure... She doesn't really do long books. I doubt it's like well over 300 pages. Like I doubt it's 350 pages. But you know what? I didn't see it on Amazon. But let me check and see... If it's on Storygraph, because A Turn in the Air isn't on Amazon because there's no pre-order for it. But on oops, on Storygraph, you can actually see the number of pages that someone put. So I don't know how accurate it is, but it definitely do, did feel that long. I think it's showing 350. Oops. So let me see. Let me mark as finished. And let's see if I can look up this book. And then Life Was Beautiful. And see if it kind of has page numbers. No, no one added it. So I, 
it has a lot of chapters. It has like 37-ish chapters, but like four epilogues. I don't know why it has so many epilogues, but I don't know. I don't feel like it's going to be that long. I could be wrong. Let's see, let's see. So this is the book. I like the cover. This is also going to be my first book of hers that's not a part of her Mafia Misfits series. I don't know if she's still my most read author of this year, but I know that I ha Oh, I can check. I'm on Storygraph. I, don't I think she still is. I read five of her books. Yes. I don't know why it's showing six because I've only read five, but yeah, I've read five of her books. You can see it here. These are my most read authors. It's not accurate because it's showing, if you see towards the bottom, they're showing that I read two. Oh, it's not there anymore. But they're showing, they were showing that I had read two books by an author. And I hadn't. I read one. But whoever uploaded it to Storygraph put her name twice. I don't know why. So it was counting it as two. But she's not even on here anymore. Anyway, I'm dragging on. Uh, but this is going to be my first book of hers outside of the Mafia Misfits series. So I'm excited. So that's what I'm going to start next, but today is Sunday. I always catch y'all, or y'all always catch me when I'm washing my hair, or like the day that I wash my hair. So I'm going to wash it and start my timer, hopefully not lose, <laughs> hopefully not lose it, not accidentally reset it. But yes, that's what I'm going to read next, and then we'll decide later if I can finish it, you know, what's going to be after that. I love logging back in, filming the conclusions of my videos because it means I did what I had to do. So, bad news is, I don't really remember where I left off. I was having trouble with my camera. I last updated you on Sunday. I think it was like still Sunday morning. And I had finished a turn in the air. So, I ended up starting, what was it? And then Life Was Beautiful. I ended up finishing it yesterday as well. I timed myself and the timing is pretty accurate. I didn't really pause the time a lot. I ended up finishing it in four hours, 28 minutes, 33 seconds, and 26 milliseconds, whatever that is. I think I started this at what time yesterday? I wanna say four something. It wasn't quite five, I don't think. It wasn't quite five o'clock and I read up until 11 something because I did take an hour break and actually I took a little more than an hour from about 7 to I'll say like 8.05 from 7 to 8 I watched the housewives of Atlanta and then like I was also cleaning up and I didn't finish cleaning until about like 8.05 8.10 something like that and that's when I picked it back up and when I ended up picking it back up I think it had already been about 3 hours and 37 minutes. No, that doesn't make sense. For some reason, the 4 hours, even though I timed myself, it doesn't feel accurate. I don't know why. Because if I started at 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, but then take off an hour, so 10, well, I guess, because this wasn't exactly 4 hours, right? It was 4 and a half, I guess. Um, and I did still take breaks. I just didn't take lots of breaks, and they weren't for that long either. So the time still has to be accurate. Um, so I ended up giving this a five star. Another reason why I was pushing myself to finish it yesterday is because it comes out today, or it came out today, uh, which is Monday, June 12th. And when I get my ARCs, I like to read them before they come out because to me, not that they're useless afterwards, but I mean... The goal of an arc is to read before it comes out, you know, to kind of help promote before it comes out. So I wanted to read it. And for some reason, I didn't think it was going to be that long. Because, I mean, I didn't think it was going to be that, that long. Because I don't really think she does that many long books. But then again, I've only read her Mafia Misfit series. Which, those books aren't that long. I think the longest one is like 310 pages. And this had a lot of chapters, I think about 38-ish, but four epilogues. And the chapters were medium. They weren't that long, but they weren't that short either. I was very anxious to see how many pages it is because she didn't have a pre-order up for it. So I just now added it 
to my Goodreads and my Storygraph because there was no pre-order so I couldn't check the page count on Amazon either because it wasn't there but I checked it when it came out y'all it's about 390 pages I read 390 pages in four you could say four and a half hours which that's really nothing because I think the longest physical because that was an ebook I think the longest see this is why my videos end up being that long I get into all kind of junk like who cares what I'm about to show you but it's like, I don't know, I, I turn the camera on and then I just start yapping. But my longest physical book that I ever read in one day, like the same day, was this, Crescendo. This is about, I think it's like barely 400 pages. I still remember how this ended. Oh, this is 427 pages. But I was anxious to read this though. Because... It had some kind of like love triangle and I wasn't ready for this other other woman drama or other girl drama and other guy drama. I wasn't ready for that. So I wanted to hurry up and finish it. <laughs> but I ended up starting that book. I think I like one. But anyway, I'm sorry. But yeah, I ended up giving it a five star. I ended up giving it a five star. I really enjoyed it. Um, obviously I gave it a five. I think I accomplished what I wanted to. I really wanted to catch up on my reading because I only read one book in what at the time when I started filming this it was Friday so in nine days I had only completed one book. Now in this video I only completed two books but I read one book. I don't know how to word that. I finished okay in this video I finished two books that I had already started prior and I read one book so that brought it up to what three books now read within what 11 days or you could say yeah 11 because today's the 12th let's see it should be three now I just want to kind of catch up a little bit so I ended up finishing with a vengeance I gave that a three star a turn in the air, I ended up giving a four star. I I don't know if I ever gave a rating in the other portion before this. And then and then Life Was Beautiful by Asia Monique. I ended up giving a five star. So I think we accomplished what I wanted to do. I realized I actually wanted to make this longer and maybe do the whole week, like from Friday to Friday, but then I realized I can't because I would be timing myself and sometimes when I do have a little downtime at work I will read maybe a chapter or two and I'm not gonna time myself so I knew that uh, and then life was beautiful would be the last the last book of the video so yes that is the end for this week's video I don't know when this will be posted but it'll be posted and I'll see you next week bye I think I'm gonna start because I already filmed when I do my thumbnails. Obviously, I do the video thumbnail and then just screenshot. I think I'm gonna start putting these at the end of my videos to show how embarrassing it is. But like, I'm doing it. Oh, this is cutting my leg. I left this out all night. <laughs> it's juice. Let me see. I think we got it somewhere in there. Okay, bye for reals.